All right, gamers. <laughs> How do I do this? All right, so a new patch has been announced for Legend of Runeterra for April 26th. Wanted to make a quick prediction video on what I think there is to expect for the 4.4.0 patch, but I, I got a small issue. I'm kind of new to Runeterra. So I asked some fellow friends and fellow content creators what they want to see from the upcoming patch to create the master list of what could possibly be changed for the update. So let's jump right into it. Alright, to, to get the obvious thing out the way, the Karma Set bundle has got to be getting nerfed in some way. In some way, it has to be getting nerfed. The whole infinite money, the, the just the infinite money glitch, like, not, it's not even a glitch, but the whole Karma Coin Infinite is just too powerful. And it's just, it is not fun to play against, and it's not fun to play. If they are going to change Karma Set, I definitely see them changing something about coins, changing something about Karma. Like, for example, I've, I saw on the Legends of Runeterra Reddit that someone suggested they change coins from Burst Speed to Focus. Focus speed might solve the infinite money, the infinite coins. It might be a little bit of a drastic change considering it would almost kill the intended purpose of coins, which is to have an option to have a secondary way of playing a spell if you happen to not have barely not enough mana. Instead, I, I could possibly see a rework of how Karma's text works, where instead of copying a spell exactly, it makes a copy of the base spell. So instead of, let's say, a stack of six coins getting duplicated, it would be a stack of six coins, but then the second cast of it is just one mana, one coin. Now th this sort of thing would affect other spells, such as the damage spell that does damage based on how much mana you spend, and the, the one spell that summons a tech card based off of how much mana you spend. But overall, I think that might be the change that the devs could be working towards if they were to change something about karma or coins. All right, so this one might be a little bit rough, but hey, hear me out, hear me out. Remove the when I'm summoned text from Samira. Okay, so before before you start yelling at me, d just hear me out. This idea comes from the LOR Reddit, and I can see it happening. Samira is currently just extremely good, just combos with many decks, like a, a, a lot. So nerfing something like her Flare Summon could be something to cool her down at least a little bit. Instead of completely taking away Flare from Samira, which is pretty much what makes her kit work so well, Make it so then either she no longer creates a flare on summon, but still creates it on strike, or she only creates it on summon once. Now for level 2 Samira, she could probably keep it, and that would be an interesting way of balancing out the change, but I definitely do feel like the flare is pretty powerful. There's a few people suggesting to just completely remove her flare, but Doing so would just be removing her entire kit and what makes her special. So instead of just completely removing it, it's just either a one-time thing or summoning a flare is only for level two. I think that would be a, that, that's a pretty fair balance, pretty fair trade-off. All right, so this next one, I think is a bit of a big one. Personally, I think Jack is underused right now. I, I really I really think Jack is underused right now. He's not being used to his fullest potential, and I, I think he needs a bit of a buff. I I just don't see him at all. Like I, I, I literally don't see him at all in casual, in ranked, in eternal. I don't see him at all. The only times I see him is when I play him. Actually, no, the only other times I see him is when I play him, and then when I face people who bought the Jack set bundle, which is a mediocre bundle, I'd say, ha half decent at best. What I think to help boost him up at least a little bit to where, like, to where he probably should be, changing his level up requirement from 12 mana to 10 could be enough. 
it, it might be enough to push them to have a bit more viability outside of the jack set store bundle. And in parallel to this, Risky Venture, either making it a two cost deal two or making it a three cost deal three could also be good. That would just be uh, just, just, just a better buff to it, I think. Because I, I understand that it's three cost for two damage and a coin, but if, if I'm expecting the jack package to get buffed, I would also expect a uh, Risky Venture to also get buffed since that's Jack's signature spell card. The cost reduction or the damage buff, either one of these would help promote coin usage outside of just the Ionian Infinite. And on the topic of fish, I was also suggested by Absol, Absolution that Fleet Admiral Shelly could get hit in some way, possibly. Now, now this card, this card I didn't necessarily expect, but I've seen it a few times in um, Runeterra AR decks, to where it's just, ju it's just, it's just chilling in a deck, where you spam spells with Samira, Samira's in the deck, and from there, just spam the flares. After two spells, everyone just gets plus one, plus one. That's that's kind of powerful, especially considering that with level two Samira, <laughs> level two Samira generates flares for free. Just stack that with Admiral Shelly, and wow, look! Every turn you could just play two flares, and that's free stats. I, I I definitely see how powerful that can be. So possibly a change to where it's requiring three spells instead of two. That might be something. All right, and lastly, with fish still on the mind, mischievous. Mirai. Something suggested by Sunny. I see the potential in this card. I, I honestly do. Again, it's with just the whole idea of spamming spells. Like, I see the potential with so many spell generation decks, like uh, Jack Seraphine. I've seen a Jack Seraphine deck run Mischievous Mirai, and it goes crazy. I don't think it's a massive threat, but the snowball potential is definitely huge when you take in consideration cards that discount spells or generate spells like Back Alley Bar, uh, Coral Creatures, Tellstones, all, all the different spells that activate and don't deal damage can then just snowball into the Cannon Barrage or what, whatever that spell is that does um, three random targets, like that, that just snowballs into that. And then that's just mass. That's just actually massive, massive turnout. Well, I can I can agree. I can agree that it needs some sort of nerf. I don't know what would be changed. I honestly don't know. But but I can I can agree with the fact that ability to generate free damage just by playing cheap spells is it's it's pretty powerful. And heck, I'm I'm pretty sure it's made its own sunny video too. So of course it needs to, it, of course it needs to change. And alright, I've gone over what I feel like could be the main focus of the patch notes for 4.4.0. From fixing the fish to slamming the spell spam. I would like to go over some honorable mentions which I couldn't really fit into my quick thoughts when making this video. So feel free to pause, comment down below what you really want to see change, comment to tell me if I'm being stupid or not, and yeah, here's the... Here's some cards that I think may also get changed.